Hey guys, I'm going to show you what I think is a pretty cool widget. You can see it, well, see one of the widgets right there on my home screen. Um, it's created, I do mean created, using Zupa. Zupa Widget Pro. So, let me give you an example. Widgets. Just going all the way down to Zupa. So, you have all the different sizes. 2x3, 2x2, 2x4, 4x2, 4x1, etc, etc. Let's just do a 2x2 because I know that'll fit. There's all the, these are all pre, pre-designed, I suppose you could say. Um, so that one, for example, has got all the world clocks on it, look. The time and the weather. So, well, we, we decide that one, say. So there it is. Okay, fairly simple, I hear you say. So we tap on it and we get to the configuration point. So we can change the background, we can change the widget action for the tap, we can do the location, the name, blah, blah, blah. Um, but where it really comes into its own is this bit here. So if I say, okay, I want to move that actually, um, I want that to be top right. Simple enough, done. Then let's say, well, actually, I want it to be bright red. Done. Um, you can change the font, can change the font size, the scaling, shadow. I can move it sort of pixel by pixel. And I can change if that is tapped. It opens up any widget, uh, any widget, any app that I've already got installed. Um, let's say I go to the cloudy bit and I want that to be a different color. Why can't I change it? There we go. Done. Um, you can easily add something. So I tick there to add. Let's just say I want to add text. So it's slapped it right in the middle initially. And I'll move that down to the bottom in the middle. Text to content. So maybe I want that to show the batch percentage. Maybe I want it to show something to do with the sunrise and sunset. Civil twilight. Maybe I want it to give my, my latitude and longitude position, my locality. Network information, system information I quite like. So time since last boot for example. If I want that I just tap that. Um, then obviously I can go in and I can change the colour, the position, the size. So you know if I want it to be really big, there we go. And I want it to be green, oopsie. Green. Done. And when I come back out, there it is. Um, so this one, let's get rid of that again now. There are some really quite cool presets. Well, two two or three cool presets, I suppose. It depends what you define as cool, I guess. Um, so the one I've got down the side there I quite like. Uh, it's not going to fit, is it, if we do... Um, well, still, it's just so you can have a look at the presets. So I like things like this. I like this one's really pretty cool. The date changes and rocks through, see, and the day changes as it goes through. Um, you can have just the calendar, and it changes depending on what day you're on. Well, that's that's the, pretty much the one I'm using at the moment, but I've adjusted it slightly. So obviously I've changed the colours, I've changed the number offset. Um, I've got my next appointment, and I've got the, my boot time in the bottom right. So that's it, Zupa Widget Pro. There is a free version. You can't change the on tap actions. Um, I forget what the thing is. Basically, I, I bought it almost straight away. It's only 99p, and it does. You know, that's to me, that's a really nice looking widget. Um, it means I can tap on the weather icon, it opens up my weather app. It means I can tap on the calendar. Hmm, if I get the right bit. Maybe it's the numbers. There we go. Nope. I should change that so the December does it, it should do. Tap on that, it opens up my clock. Um, down there is the boot time, and that is supposed to open up Zupa itself. So there you go, Zupa widget. This is the pro version, it's 99p, it's very customizable. Um, and give some pretty cool widgets. My name's Andy, see you again soon.